Shawn Michaels vs. Bret Hart, November 9, 1997. Survivor Series. The long and bitter rivalry between Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart would eventually have to come to an end. But no one expected it to end the way it did. This match is not only one of the most important moments of the Attitude Era, but one of the most important moments in WWE and wrestling history. Yeah! It's the Montreal screw job. Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels were polar opposites. From the beginning, the groundwork was laid for a fierce rivalry. I just want to say one thing, Shawn Michaels, I can promise you for 60 minutes, you're in for the absolute worst pounding of your entire life. The historic Iron Man match did nothing to settle their issues. In fact, it only fueled the fire. Just because I choose to live my life openly and freely does not make you a better man. As the taunting unfolded, their bitter feelings intensified. You're nothing but a degenerate, little arrogant, pompous guy I've ever seen. I thought I could do it. You're way out to me, pal. You'd like to hit me, but you, you don't have the insights to do it. And this here is what it's all about. And until you have this, you will never, ever, ever be the showstopper. Red Heart, you are a zero, my hero. I'm gonna kick your little scrawny ass. A story full of twists and turns saw Bret Hart's contract negotiations become the focal point of what would become their final encounter. Everybody just keeps turning a blind eye. You keep turning a blind eye. Everybody in that dressing room knows that I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. I don't think there's ever been a rivalry that has been talked about as much worldwide as this issue between Bret Hart Shawn Michaels. And the smart money is, is that she will never, ever see it again. Yeah, well, you can't talk about the Attitude Era without including this. It's actually what truly kicked it off. It made Vince McMahon the ultimate bad guy, which he exploited for a long time. Until the crash of WCW. And it did change a lot. I'll do whatever you want. I just want you to know that. F that. If Brett doesn't want to do business, then we need to do business for him. Yeah. It is kind of cool that they did include this in the game. I mean, WWE could have easily been like, no, we're not going to do that. Because it is, you know, still is a sensitive topic. But then again, it is truly part of history. Win by pinfall or submission. And the other one is hidden. Fair enough. This is a nice image, by the way. And we're playing as Shawn Michaels. We need to go for the win. That will trigger, well, a historic event. Uh, you'll see. I think I have a good memory of what happens in the game. European champion! Hey. Always hyped. Well, he is just a sexy boy. Two of the most dominant, two of the most premier athletes in the history of the WWE are moments away from locking up right here in Montreal. Ah, oh, this is what it's all about. How many times have we heard Shawn Michaels say he won't lay down for anybody? And how many times have we heard Bret Hart say he's the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? Well, it's time to put up or shut up. One of them will put up, and the other will be shut up. 
Could you imagine, man, if this didn't happen? But then again, for certain wrestling events, if things just went a little bit differently, the, the entire, you know, wrestling as we know it would, would be different. But what if WCW had won? Yeah. It would truly be a different world of wrestling right now. very personal. This match is going to be stiff. Would have been better or worse? Well, it's tough to say. I mean, WCW had their good moments, but, you know, the wrestlers in charge, so to speak, ran it into the ground. Because, you know, other people were technically in charge. But, you know, Hulk Hogan and his gang of hoodlands, they ran the company and they ran it into the ground. Which... It's still a shame because for all their faults there was a lot of good stuff on WCW as well. And as a kid it was easier for me to watch WCW as it was to watch the WWE, which was back then the WWF. Because of well, the limited channels that we had available. And first they did air the, the WWF, but they stopped airing that and then switched over to WCW. Yeah, it's a pretty belt. Whatever. This is not about the belt. Well, eh, that's not entirely true, I guess. Because for Brad, it was about the belt. He didn't want to lose the belt in Canada. He offered to, well, win this fight. And then drop the belt the next Raw. You know, the next episode of Raw. But Finn's had other plans. Everybody thinks... That they know the story and that I guess we'll never know the entire truth about the Montreal school job because some people say that Brad was in on it and others say that he wasn't and others say that there was like a plan but then you know it changed and that is what annoyed Brad but if you see the footage of how angry Brad is I don't think that he knew anything about what happened because he said that you know the match was supposed to go longer and the other hearts were supposed to come out, the Heart Foundation, and it would, you know, make a big thing of it, because Brett was leaving the WWE, let's just call it WWE, shall we, because history has changed the name anyway, but he was going to leave for WCW, because, you know, due to money problems, they couldn't give him the contract that he wanted, and Vince was like, well, then, you know, if somebody else offers you more money, then you should leave, but... They spoke about it, and he wanted to leave on his own terms. Which was, to be fair, it, it was a little bit weird, because, you know, normally, you know, in a retirement match or a I quit match or whatever, the person that leaves or quits or retires loses his final match. So, from that perspective, I understand you know, where Vince was coming from, but then he should have been honest about it. Or, they should have done this in a different spot, not in Canada, perhaps. Because it, it wasn't like Brett was like Hulk Hogan that he never wanted to lose. It's just, for him, you know, Canada is special. It's where he's from. He just didn't want to lose in his hometown, which I can understand. Whoa. Round and round he go. Come on, pop him. For this to work out, we do have to win. Ooh, targeting is off a little bit. Nicely done. There's another great kick. Action dab. And again, the feet fly. Swift kick and another kick. <laughs> Show Michaels the true action man. Woohoo! 
Ooh. Stopped in dead in his tracks. Still, that move looks weird. You just go around in a circle around somebody's arm. But it's just the animation. These animations look pretty good. I mean, still, this game looks better than 2K20. Well, almost every game looks better than 2K20. But to be fair, if you look at... Uh, there was... Smackdown vs. Raw, or Raw vs. Smackdown, whatever they called it back in the day. But like, the 2009 edition of wrestling game, that looked pretty sweet too. You could actually see, you know, sweat dripping off of the characters and very cool shading. Those games always look pretty good. See, later on when they, you know, added the, you know, create your own wrestler ability, it to work with different kind of models. And then all the other characters are also based upon those same models, so they... Didn't mean to do that. Well, I wouldn't say they, you know, downgraded the visuals, but they, they did make it look very different. But still, I mean, I think this game looks pretty good. But I have to say I'm not all about graphics in a game. It's not the most important thing. For me, at least it's not. You know, you want a game to look nice, but I wouldn't overly criticize a game for not looking perfect or getting the maximum capacity out of the console that it's being played on. Nah. Just as long as it looks good, looks decent, but especially when it plays well. That's important for me. Gameplay and story, well, this game has like showcase matches, but I mean an adventure game or something like that, the story has to be good. No, 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 no. That's not how this is gonna go down. Do some more damage. Boop. Down goes the bread. He misjudged the range on that one. Oh man, what a shot to the hit. Okay, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Fortunately, you're going to have to face my comeback move. Boom. And pow! Hey, sweet! Got an achievement out of it. Oh, what do you know? Guess I never did that before. Well, huh. Nice for my gamer score. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, Brett was angry. Spit McMahon right in the face. But we got a Brett, we got a Vince McMahon, and an arena. <laughs>